Hi, I'm Bruce, and welcome back to another day in the life of a suburban good boy. Part 20. I was once again rudely awakened from my peaceful slumber by the spare this morning. She then left me in the trenches taking grenades, trying to get out of the fluffy paradise and start my day. When I finally emerged, it was time to tackle my to-do list. First item up is a moment in the magical shield. I like looking into this to confirm every morning if I'm still a dog. Spare then strapped me into what I can only assume is a medieval torture device. When will this end? And who the fuck is Bruce Wayne? I was then caught snacking on one of the good blankets and the spare asked me not to chew on things in her office. Deal. To be fair, the gifts that the free paper man brings to me every day don't technically fall in your office. My name was also on this one, so please tell Mimi I got the card and it was delicious. I did feel bad about consuming the spooky card without the spare, so in an effort to smooth things over, I presented her with this empty bag of snackies as a peace offering. Psych, this is just for me. At last, the Chosen One came home to relieve me of my endless woes. After a little R&R, &R, it was time for some boy's time, so we headed out to the garage to do boy stuff. Like eat a fly out of midair. I didn't even blink. Boys' time then carried into lunch, where we, of course, coordinated our attire. As night fell, I decided it was time to show the spare some level of affection. However, it should be a surprise to no one who I chose to melt my body against like a stick of butter for my eight hours.